me go! I don't need you guys! Leave me alone! for a group hug. <laughs> Chaos is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Not as wonderful as friendship. Oh, this again. for long. Oh, Applejack, don't lie to me. I'm the one who made you a liar. Will you ever learn? I'll tell you what we've learned, Discord. We've learned that friendship isn't always easy. But there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. Oh, gag. Fine, go ahead. Try and use your little elements frenemies. Just make it quick. I'm missing some excellent chaos here. All right, ladies. Let's show them what friendship can do. Wait, wait, wait! gathered here today to once again honor the heroism of these six friends who stood up to the villain Discord and saved Equestria from eternal chaos. Sister goes. 
Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well, then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sisterhood of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, unsister! The Sisterhood Social was on coop? Yeah, on coop. <coughs> Wait, what's on coop? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm on coop. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's on coop. What's on coop? It means uncivil, you know, bad mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pigs to eat. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it together! together. <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. Ugh. All that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle, Oh, my. It's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. Looks like my sky swim will have to wait. I'm Rainbow Dash, and I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> wow, what's with this crowd? Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome.
but I think this whole hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! Bloom, you have to look sick. <laughs> ah! Hey, look at What in the haze heat is going on in there, silly Billy? Oh, Granny Smith, we were just about to come get you. Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! That's the fourth sun! <laughs> Appreciation Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zappy apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Any other bright ideas? Granny Smith, it's Miss Cheerily. Apple Bloom said you wanted to speak with me. Hello, Granny Smith. Well, hello there. How do you do? Uh, hi, uh, Granny Smith. Is uh, everything okay? Of course it is. Why would it be? <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, pickles always give me the hiccups. I need to tell you that I can't make the presentation on Monday after all. Oh, no. Is that so? No doubts about it. Well, I gotta share the flowers and water the sheep. I mean, uh, I have to water the flowers and share the sheep. <laughs> oh, well, that's too bad. We can reschedule. <laughs> well, hi. Where am I? Well, howdy, Miss Cheerily. You window shopping? Uh, no. Uh, you asked me to come here to tell me that you wouldn't be making it to Family Appreciation Day? Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in Canterlot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, See you Monday? Hmm. I can't believe she woke up from her nap. She never 
wakes up from her nap. I wish I could just run off and hide. Well, you can't run off, but maybe some pony else can. Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There is nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific. Come on in, girls. What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh, you made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine! Why don't you quit talking and get walking? So, AJ, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Maine? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well, Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. But can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No. Help. Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop! Well, girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Ooh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries in a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimichurri. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry chaga or chimichurri? Or what if I combine them, chimichurri chaga? Oh, what sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. Oh, come on, Miss Cheerily. Ask him to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Big Mac? Hmm. 
Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. Do you think it just wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could. Oh! Oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do ya? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Serve to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerley. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together to test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sun pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be, be in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Special sun pony. Hey, yeah. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, smoochy, woochy, baby, wordy. Be back! Hey! Hello! What's going on?
style. Any pet of mine's gotta look good, cause you've gotta make me look good. Coolness. <laughs> Sorta of cool. Not cool. Pretty cool. Could be cooler. Not what I had in mind. I can't hear you! <laughs> now that's a cool sound! Sort of awesome? Not awesome. Could be more awesome. Oh, yeah! That is awesome! Uh, you did that already. That's pretty much all you can do, huh? This competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. <sighs> Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! You. Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All 
All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave Will Boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy! Ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds? Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands! <gasps> oh, my hair! Applejack, be a dear and shut those windows, will you? Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, <laughs> the Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The Unicorns demanded the same, in return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came.
came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the blizzard became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you? Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come <laughs> on, Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face going to stay that way? Oh. How is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. How long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Oh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> is she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple, or maybe an orange, but a big orange, more like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous, fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. Get 
to the other side. Get it? <sighs> Never mind. As Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. <coughs> Shy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to New Fluttershy? And he thought New Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy! Old Fluttershy! What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. <laughs> Getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone. Fashion is her passion. Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about. <laughs> Looks like nasty Fluttershy is here to stay. Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster. He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. <laughs> Fluttershy, are you in there? It's Pinkie Pie and Rarity! Go away! Go away before nasty Fluttershy strikes again! Oh, sweetie, we all said things that we regret. We did? Shh! Pinkie's right. I'm the only one to blame. But don't worry, I'm never coming out of my house again. Every pony will be a lot safer with me and my mean mouth locked away. Sweetie, Pinkie Pie doesn't blame you, nor do I. You just received some bad advice from that Iron Will character. Yeah, he's the one that made you act super duper nasty. <laughs> what I mean is, there are other ways to assert yourself besides yelling at every pony. Yes, you can stand up for yourself without being unpleasant about it. Uh, I'm not sure I can. I'm too far gone. Whenever I try to assert myself, I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name. Training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. Uh, I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. Iron Will collects now. Do something. We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. 
now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron Will collects now. But we have an agreement. You gotta come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. <laughs> has really knocked me for a loop. Achoo! <laughs> oh, you poor thing! You know, there's only one cure for pony pox. I know. Plenty of better. <laughs> Cold water! Those pony pox are clearing right up. <gasps> you know, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm starting to feel better. I, I'll just get out of these robes and... <laughs> ow! Oh, my wing. Oh, ow, it's hurt. I guess I can't fly after it. <laughs> Messed up wing, huh? Stop horsing around, Fluttershy. We've got a lot of training to do. Come on now. What's going on? Well, you see, uh, well, oh, Rainbow Dash, I just can't do it. I can't fly. What are you talking about? Just last week, you went into that wicked nosedive to save that falling baby bird right before it hit the ground. But that was different. That was an emergency. Oh, this whole tornado thing, it's more like a performance. And you know how I hate performing in front of others. Don't you remember flight camp? I couldn't gallop hard or fly fast. Not with every pony looking at me. It wasn't that bad. You're right, Rainbow Dash. It wasn't bad. It was horrible. <laughs> Again. Suck it up, Fluttershy! This is no time for... I mean, confidence or no confidence, I'm gonna need every Pegasus to break the record, including you! I need every ounce of wing power I can get. Oh, I don't think so, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Thanks anyway. Wait. I'll do it. You will? I will. You're game? I'm game. All right! What exactly does this machine do? This is an anemometer. It measures your accelerative velocity and translates it into wing power, thus gauging your cumulative H2O anti-gravitational potential. Any other questions? Yeah. What exactly does this machine do? It tells you how fast you're flying and how strong your wings are. Oh. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. You can't run it, yeah. <laughs> Is that you again, Thunderlane? Please, we need to have a germ-free environment. It wasn't me, it was Blossomforth. Don't worry, Twilight. Thunderlane's just cooking up an excuse to spend Tornado Day in bed. Why don't you get over here and be our first test flyer, Thunderlane? We have 9.3 wing power. Wow, that's fast! Oh, man. Yeah. Not bad, not bad.
of Nightmare Moon. Who makes you wary? Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, uh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you! Princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! Pet, <gasps> pet! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Oh, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. <laughs> Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. 
Uh, listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the Derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con, going to the Derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro, Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con, Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Jolly good to see you. So glad you could make it. Every pony, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wonderful Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and our race will begin momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <laughs> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Bolts. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, 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 Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Hooray! 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 Hooray!